why Prokofiev decided to compose Skiff and Sweet? Uh, again, I repeat, it's, it's about maybe 15, maybe 20, 100 years ago. All of us, I think, once or many times, better to say, are fascinated with, for example, you visit Egypt or you visit Jerusalem. You, know. you look and you ask yourself, uh, is it a progress we all together witness or, or opposite thing? I think as a, as a young composer, as an a extremely strong and successful artist, he found the most interesting subject in. Yeah. So I, I just was listening again to the tuba voice. It just says solo. But please make it, make it so that it will look as interesting as, as some unbelievable, well, this, this faces of this sphinx, you know, we call it, in Egypt. You can't explain. What is that? You know. So, so find you as an artist, find yourself where you put it with as perceivable with so that, but how you move from D, play it please, 41 for me. And look, first note. Is it, is it just every, everyday feeling? Why don't you play? One does not expect this second note to be placed here because the first promises something else. Yeah? If it comes as a surprise and a nice surprise to you, the public will enjoy it even more. Yeah? But it's not about one, two, one, two, one, two, you know. Who needs classical music again? Yeah? It's so boring. Yeah. Make it more interesting. Every, every detail. Also to uh, first trumpet. Yeah. Phrase it. It's a human voice, okay? 41, please. One. We look at the score and we just try to find the logic. Why? We have to find what is interesting about these very primitive things. It's all just one, two notes. But altogether it makes it exceptionally interesting, especially when it becomes clear.